What's up guys, I'm Daily Electrician, AKA the sexiest electrician you've ever seen. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to turn two three-way switches into a single pole switch. So thanks for tuning in. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so jumping right in, I got everything set up for the three-way switches and I got the power. I turned this three wire into a power right here just using the black, white, and ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in, show you guys everything works as a normal three-way setup. So that turns the light on, that turns it off, that turns it back on. So now that we got that situated that everything works, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this and jump right in and show you guys how to turn this three-way setup into a single pole switch. So first I'm just gonna go ahead and take these switches out and it might be useful if you know what you're doing to go ahead and uh, remember which uh, black wires are on your um, black screws right here, especially on the switch leg side, it's gonna help you out. But if, if you don't know that and you take everything apart, then I can show you also how to identify which wire is which. So let's just go ahead and take these apart real quick, and then I will be back with you in one second. All right, so once you have both of these three-way switches removed, it is time to grab your single pull switch and time to install it. All right, so once you get these taken apart, you're gonna have your four wires from each switch. You're gonna have your two traveler wires, um, on both sides as I separated them out on top and bottom here. So I got my two sets of travelers, uh, or my set of travelers, and then I have the switch leg on this side, which goes straight up to the lights right here. And then I have the power wire um, on the bottom right here, which just comes from this plug-in that I hooked up right there. So the first thing you want to want to going to want to do is just to pick a color. In this case, I'm probably just gonna go with red because it's gonna be easier and be less confusing. So you're gonna want to take your red wire from the three-way and you're gonna want to, um, whichever side you want to, uh, whatever side you want the switch on um, is the side that you're not gonna tie together. So if you want the switch on this side, then um, you're gonna want to tie um, these wires together. So take your red and switch leg on this side and tie those together. Um, but if you want the switch on the opposite side, then you're gonna do it on the opposite box. So um, the easiest way to identify this, if you already confused it, um, in here, you're gonna see you have two wires coming in. So you're gonna see that one of them is gonna have your red and black wires, to, your red and black wires together coming from one wire. So this one on the right side has the, um, the red wire and the black wire coming from the same uh, Romex inside the same sheathing. So um, that's how to identify your travelers on both sides. And then the single wire, um, your, your case might be a little bit different, but the one with the one black wire coming out of it, like this over here uh, on the right side, you just have a black, white, and ground. So you're gonna know that that one is obviously the switch leg, which is this guy right here, as you can see me wiggling it right there. So, uh, once again, identify your travelers, and then you're gonna want to not use the black of the travelers. So you're just gonna tie these two together. So I'm gonna take uh, my power, and I'm gonna tie it together, which is gonna send the power down on this red, and then the red and black will just be my two wires over here, and then you're just gonna cap off the other wire not being used. So, like I said, uh, tie these two together. This is just gonna be blanked off. Tie, cap this off, and you're not gonna use your ground. And then on the other side where you're putting your switch, don't touch any of the neutrals, don't touch any of the grounds. You're gonna reuse your ground pigtail, and then you're just gonna cap off one of the black travelers, or the only black traveler, and then you're gonna use your new two wires right here, your switch leg, and then your red wire right there for your new switch, which is going to be your two wires and your ground right there. Um, if you were doing it on this side, then you would, um, same thing, uh, leave your ground pigtail, you're gonna reuse that, don't touch your neutrals. Um, and then 
you're going to keep your power wire and then just use the red wire again and then cap off this black wire and then on the other side you would cap off the black traveler and then tie these two together um, the switch leg and the um, red traveler so and then that would be your blank box so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm just gonna go with the right side over here so I'm gonna tie this side together on this side and then I'll show you how to do that all right so the first thing that you're gonna want to do is um, straighten out the wires or you can just cut them off um, I will show you how to do that so you can just find your black traveler coming out with the red and then we're not gonna be using that. Um, so we can go ahead and cap that off for safety so nothing um, touches in the box later and it creates problems. So once you cap off your black traveler, you can go ahead and push that back into the box. So then you are left with these two wires um, and then your ground, you're not gonna be using your ground either because like I said, we're tying this together so we can use the other switch box. So this is just gonna become your junction box and you're just gonna tie these two wires together. So the black is my power wire and I'm, se I'm sending the power back on the red or to sending the power on to the red to the next box. So um, that will make everything work in the next box and then that eliminates everything in this box. So. These wires are a little bit long, but by the time I get this wire nut on, it will be covered. So there we go, got these tied together. So now that we got that done, we're gonna go over to the next box. So this is ready for your blank cover. And then once you get over to this side, you are going to reuse your ground. So I don't wanna touch that, don't touch your neutral. And then once again, find your other side of the black traveler. Um, like I said, this is the switch leg coming straight up from the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off my black wire, put a wire nut on it just because it's not being used to make it 100% safe. And then go ahead and fold that back into the box. And now you are ready to go and put on your new switch, which is just going to be your single pull switch. So you're going to... Um, tie on your ground wire. That is very janky. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down right there. And then I'll screw that down here in a second. And then this needs to be curled a little bit more. It's pretty messed up as well. And then this one is also pretty messed up. Okay, so once you get that done, you can tighten down your ground wire and then flip it over and then stick on your new power wire, which is your red, and then your switch leg on this side. And there you have it. So once you do that, you can fold everything nicely into the box. Make sure your ground wire is not touching any of these hot screws or future hot screws. Um, in this case, um, off is on the the ground is on the top so I'm just going to go ahead and fold this back in nice and neatly and I keep losing these screws but this switch has the screw so that's nice so go ahead and screw this back together really quickly and then it will be ready to test it out for you so right now I have everything plugged in right here. Um, so the power's coming up through this box, being junctioned through the red wire. And then the red power is sitting on this switch. The black is still my switch leg. So when I go to turn on the switch, it's gonna work. So there you go. That's how to turn a three-way switch into a single pole switch if you want to eliminate a switch location if it is not being used. So once again, Turn off your switch, light turns off, it's a normal light switch. So hopefully this helped you out if you guys were wondering how to do this. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it. As always, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It would help the channel out. I'd love to see you guys back in the next video. And uh, check the description down below for anything else. First link down below in the link tree.
can have everything that you need to know and a few extra things in the description. And then lastly, hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless and have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.